Hey scientists, let's talk about some of the different properties of matter. Matter means anything that has mass and takes up space. So basically all of the physical stuff in the universe, from tiny little electrons to massive stars. Each piece of matter has different properties that we use to describe, classify, and group them. The properties we'll go over today are mass, volume, the states of matter, temperature, magnetism, and density or an object's ability to sink or float. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is sometimes used or described the same as weight, but it's actually really different. Mass is usually measured in grams or kilograms, and an object's mass never changes. Weight changes based on gravity, so you'd weigh less on the moon, but your mass would be constant. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space something takes up. Volume has a lot of different measurements, like liters, cubic meters, gallons, ounces, and many more. But they all just refer to the space an object takes up. If I had a cube that was one centimeter on all the edges, it would be one cubic centimeter. I could pour in a liquid to take up that same amount of space or have the same volume. Volume applies to all the states of matter. The state of matter of an object just means if it's a solid, liquid, or a gas. Solid matter has a stable shape. This is because the atoms or molecules in a solid object are all closely packed together, and solids keep their shape when you move them. These are really great examples of solids. If we zoom into our apple here, we can see all of the molecules are closely packed together. Liquid matter takes the shape of whatever object or space they occupy. Liquids are freely moving, but they have a consistent volume. Water is the biggest example of a liquid at room temperature. You can see in all of our examples, the liquid matter is taking the shape of the container. One gallon of liquid sweet tea will always occupy one gallon of space. And if we zoom in, the atoms and molecules in the liquid are much less tightly packed than solids. Gas matter not only will take the shape of a container, but will also fill it and evenly disperse itself throughout the container. Gases have the least packed atoms and molecules, and this is why the volume of a gas can change. You can see that as soon as we open our bottle, all of the molecules of gas evenly disperse into the air. Being able to change the volume of gas is why you can fill up your bike tire with air and you can keep pumping more air into the same volume, creating air pressure. An object's state of matter depends on temperature, or how hot or how cold the item is. Different substances have different melting points, or when they change state from a solid to a liquid, and different boiling points, or when they change from a liquid to a gas. Magnetism is an object's ability to be attracted or repelled by a magnet, or an object's ability to attract iron. Magnetism is caused by electrons being charged and attracting the opposite side of the object. This makes a magnetic field. My negatively charged magnetic field is always going to attract positive ions. All matter also has the ability to sink or float based on density. Usually, we compare density to that of water. Density is just a comparison between mass and volume. Let's take an iron cube. If I put it in water, it's more dense than the water, so it's going to sink to the bottom. But if I take that same cube, and I melt it down into a very thin and wide ship, I've changed the density by altering the relationship between mass and volume. And now if I take that same amount of metal and put it on top of the water, it can float. Let's pause and look at a question. 